Hello, hello, YouTube. Or should I say stackers? Now that I'm one of you, sadly, as much as I try to resist the 12 silver one ounces came in this and the two extra came in these. These two. These two are the older style mint. As you see, it's already starting to milk. Now, if you remember, I mentioned that my fingers do get very greasy. And now I know why some people wear gloves. I think I'm going to have to start doing it too. So these are the three that I got before. These are the 12 I've got today with this. Now, why am I making this video? Verification. Now, in my previous videos, the numbers were all off. This has been calibrated. And like I mentioned, this was for, this is for reloading. Calibrate. This is 10 grams. Pass. Okay. Put this back here. Now, one ounce is roughly 31.11. Oops. 31.21. These are the new coins. I'm not saying they're fakes. But as you can see, I forgot to take this out. And I'm using one hand just to continue quick. I don't want to make this a long video. So I'm not going to do them all, just to show you an idea. See, it's 0.1 above. My point of this video is, is that a cause of concern? Because I've seen many videos where people weigh these and they're almost the exact 3.1112. Now this is the lowest so far. I might as well do them all at this point. Turn it on. Now this does has to be warmed up. It's been on for roughly 20 minutes. These ones are brand new. As you see, they have the security features on them, except for these two. So you see this one too, overweight. So am I getting more silver? I hope so. As we're waiting, let's calibrate this. Pure gold, pure silver. Ooh, no, not gold. There, it's over. This is the, yeah. These weights are, these weights can turn me a bit. So, these and this came in a tube, loose. He kept shaking it, and so far, not. I don't see any dings or scratches. So these two came in here. So you saw me 10 in the jar, two in the capsules. 
These do not have the advanced security features. 2013. This one was very milky. And it's one of the heaviest. So should I be happy I'm getting more silver or should I be worried I'm getting something else? Five minutes in the video. So it's supposed to be a 31.11. So I'm 0.15 above. Now, we want to register this. Over. Nope. Now, on the Royal Canadian Mint website, with the packaging, it's supposed to weigh 39.32. Look at that. So 39.3, I'm getting 39.1. Again, should I be concerned? I'm getting less gold. I'm not touching anything. No, it's not even going to 39. Something happened. Now it's even less. Okay, is it overheating? Well, you get the idea. Now for the silver, I'll do this quick. I don't want this to be a long video. See, it's instant instantaneous. These I've already checked. Oh, I checked it with you guys. Temperature does, it did mention in the manual, temperature affects it. Now it's minus 20 outside. The bottom is more cold. One side is more cold than the other. see this is the part that's in the felt dead center the exposed part that's cold dead center just a bit off I love this machine. I could have put, I could have bought a half ounce coin of gold, but this is a better investment. You saw my heart race in the other one with the Cougar Rand. Well, the Cougar Rand is bye bye. I'm buying Canadian mint from now on, or gold as trip. Uh, that's four nines. I'm not buying three nines anymore. find a flat surface where my finger is so yep yeah. depending where you scan it will affect the machine that's true I like the fact that right away you get the answer and you can probably tell by today's motif thanks to you guys I am now addicted to gold and this is the last one from the tube
the two older ones. These are all, I don't really want to touch these because of all the milky and even though I cleaned it, I can still feel the icky, you know, it feels sticky compared to the rest. Feels like someone jerked off on it. So all my silver I bought today, checked out. Now, this kind of failed, well, not really failed, but it's supposed to be 39.32 grams. Ah, oh, shit, it's on ounces. God damn it. There, see? 39.165. 39.32 is what, is what the website says. Now, is it gold? Dead center. Woo! Sign of the cross. They need money, by the way. Okay. I've seen someone with the same bar, the same machine, and his red. Is it because of the indentation? This is higher up. You can see the thickness. And this is what today's video is about. Testing. Okay. So. Large wand. I'm going to have to put the camera down. I don't want to ding anything. Last thing I want is for this to smash down on something. And even though I, I'm, I changed places, I always bring my trusty mat. This is for my toolbox, actually. Okay. Ready, place sample. Dead center. Dead center. Dead center. My friends, we have gold. So you see with the different raisings on the bar, it does affect the piece. If you can find it, if you can afford it, buy it. Once again, this cost me $1,600. I'm not going to show it, but what I'm going to do right now is... I'm kissing the bar. <gasps> and I just dropped the bar. Okay. The Valcombi. Oh, what happened? You saw this in the other video. The packaging. You can see there's like an indentation in the packaging. And we use the wand to verify that it is real gold. I used to work for DHL, and after five years, we get this. Nice watch, right? Yeah. Eh. She ain't gold. It's not registering because it's attracted to metal. The manual says 
anything that will not read is because it's attracted to metal. I have two bars. People have asked me what this is. There you go. This is a two pound watch. This is pretty heavy. Silver, Combi, there you go, and of course, the security feature. I actually found it now. It says 17, but I'm not sure if you can register, if you can see it, but it's there. And of course, the final test, but that means taking this out, and I won't do that. Everyone knows the size of these. There you go. 38.02 bang on I'm not going to do them all but I already did them so if you're going to get verifiers don't get just one I don't want to keep this near it get one verifier that's guaranteed usually the weight is enough don't need this, save batteries. This is what gives me headaches the most. As you saw, the readings are all over the place. This is attracted to the magnet inside, and this helps a lot too. This is because I'm a mechanic, so this is when I do very precise measurements, like in the engine. There's our hero. And this is what I've been using so far to try and keep my oily mitts off my pieces. A quick note, if you can see where my fingertips are, there's two here and there's one right there, it's chipped. Yep, yeah, right there. I'm pretty sad about that. I just noticed that when I was doing the setup for this, the lighting here. You can see how thin it is. <laughs> but it's absolutely beautiful. My very first gold ounce. When I eventually buy more, I will be opening this one for you. So there you have it. 19 minutes. Thank you stackers. Enjoy your night.